Welcome to Introduction to Decentralized Identifiers by Walt ID. In this quick lesson, you will learn what DITs are, what they enable, and how you can use them using Walt ID tools. So with no further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, what are DITs? DITs are self-sovereign, globally unique identifiers for entities like individuals, companies, and devices. And they are self-sovereign, so they are controlled by the individual or an organization and no third party. They are globally unique, like email addresses. So each identifier only refers to one single entity. They are completely decentralized. So they are issued and generated by the owner directly. They are interoperable, meaning they can work together if they work on the same standards and across ecosystems. They are cryptographically secure, so they are backed by public and private key cryptography, enhancing security and digital interactions. They are machine readable, so they enable automated systems. They are verifiable, as the authenticity of DITs and the da data they sign can be verified ensuring integrity of digital interactions. They are persistent and do not need to be changed or reissued by an external authority. So they remain constant no matter the circumstances. So what do they enable? Verifiable credentials. So this can be embedded in digital certificates, licenses, or other credentials, enabling third parties to verify their authenticity and origin. This can be used, for example, for academic certificates, driver licenses, or even health records. For digital authentication, they can be used for helping with signing into our social media platform or online banking without the need for centralized authorities. They can be used to create secure communication channels where each participant can be identified. So what do you get with Walt ID tooling? What are the features we're offering? You can create, manage, and anchor them with different formats and on different ecosystems. You can also rotate the keys. You can resolve them to view the data documents and you can store them with multiple key store implementations we offer. So, Next, let's jump into action and see how it looks and how you can use Walt ID tooling, especially now the CLI tool, to create and manage multiple DITs. So, and here we are in my terminal, on my local machine. I just cloned the latest version of the SSI kit and now I can start using it using the SSI kit command. And here with dash H, I already get like all the different features we support. And today we're mainly focusing on key and did. So what can we do? First of all, let's get ourselves a key. And for that, I use the SSI kit, dash key command. And if I here press also uh, dash help, we can see that we can generate keys, list them, import and export them or delete them into our custodian store. So we offer also different storage implementations like the local storage, S3, Azure Key Vault. But because we are open source and we have a modular in infrastructure, you can just come and build your own implementation for a storage solution. So you're completely flexible there. Now let's go one step further. So SSI kit, key, gen, and then dash H and what we will see also here that we have different algorithms with which you can generate keys of so a public and a private key which we then need for for our did so I will just go with the default option and generate my key great so now I have the key and next let's have a look then what we can do with it using the did command. 
So here we have create, resolve, list, import, delete. And what we'll do is now create one. And also here, if we just press dash H again with the create command, we see we have all these different ecosystems which we are already supporting and we are continuously adding new ones. As well as already mentioned with our modular architecture, you can just go and, and come and build your own implementation for another div method. And for now, what I will do, I will use the key one. So I create a did with the method key. And I also want to use my key I just created. So, so and what we get back is our did document for our now created did key. And with that, let's see what else we could do. So we could also create another did using the check method. And the special thing there is that this will register actually a did on the blockchain. And that's a really nice thing. So you have the same interface for all the different did methods, but depending on their implementation, we do all the heavy lifting and you just yeah you just type create method checked and we do the rest so let's just go and and execute this and also here now that i didn't specify a key it actually does that automatically in the background so you don't have to worry about doing like these extra steps we did before and now we get back our the document and our did which was just registered on the checked testnet with that, we have concluded our quick introduction to the SSI kit and the CLI and what it can do for you. Um, so you can use and start issuing DITs. And the great thing is what I just showed you is like one way to do it, but there are multiple. So you can just go and do the same thing with our REST service. And for even more ease of use, if you using Java or Kotlin as a programming language, we also have libraries there. So you can also just import our SSI kit and start issuing, creating and managing dits and keys. With that, we reached the end of the introduction to decentralized identifiers by Walt ID. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview as well as the, the demo of the SSI kit CLI. And with that, yeah, now it's your turn to start issuing dits with Vault ID tooling. If you want to get a head start, go to directly to the docs and see how you can get set up using the link in the description or visit our website for more a general overview and go to Vault ID slash SSI kit. With that, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe and see you next time. Happy building.